Good morning, y'all. So yesterday we had a hydraulic leak on the tractor here. So we are gonna fill up the hydraulic oil. We have a couple things we need to put on the combine. So that is the plan for the morning right now. There's no way you didn't cut over that yesterday. It had to, it had to come out overnight, didn't it? Uh-huh. Hmm. I think it ain't gonna go way up. Huh? Yeah, got it. Dad, come hit my head. It wasn't your head, was it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt. So did the pin part on it go bad? Yeah, bracket broke, see? Oh, okay. What are you looking for? Just seeing what it looks like. Kind of musky smelling in here, ain't it? Yeah. You just turn it. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's in between those two notches. It is? All yeah. Right. That's good, then, eh? It looks like it's, yeah, a little bit low. So he's going to fill up his hydraulic oil. I'm gonna start the tractor. So he's gonna bring the combine over here so we can set off the head. Then once we get everything filled up, we're probably gonna move here in a little bit once my dad gets down here to flag for us in the truck. Can't quite fit the chip down in there. My cab needs a little bit of sprucing up too. We are heading down the road right now. We're about to get on the main road. One of the tires looks kind of flat, he said, so he's gonna check it real quick. He's going down the road with a flat tire. It is definitely not good. Y'all ready? I'm coming on up past it. Oh, dang, yeah, I'm ready. Yep. I need to figure out what's wrong with this seat. It squeaks so bad when the, tra the tractor is like rocking back and forth. I kind of want to eat another cracker, but I feel like if I do, I might wreck. So I'll, I'll save the crackers for later. I don't want to wreck a hundred of thousand, hundreds of thousand dollar machine over a cracker that costs 25 cents. <laughs> oh Lord, what a disaster. That's something about disaster. I don't know what the disaster is. Uh, there was a car coming. So that's our bean field right there. It's multiple bean fields, but that's one of them. I'm just sitting right beside the road, waiting for them to get the head on, cut enough room for me, and then we might let it dry off some. They're probably too wet for us to start right now, so uh, He's gonna cut some room for him and me, and then we'll probably let him dry off some. You can come on in any time. Alright. Oh, I hate gates. They're no fun. Grass is still wet down here. Oh, these beans is wet too. Yeah, so the beans are too wet. We had to let them dry off. Oh, it's the tractor's got more lights than the combine. Speaking of that, I'm gonna turn these off. It's not an emergency no more, no hazard. I'm in the field now. You mean shut, shut off the tractor? Yeah. Yes, it's definitely still too wet. And I'm gonna turn off the tractor. Oh. All right. Is it cause they're too wet? Where's it coming from? I don't know where it's coming from. Unless it's coming in on the to work. Unless it's so lighted, I don't know. Unless it's gonna slow the fan down, I don't know. Still a little bit too soft, aren't they? Because the softer they are, that means they're more wet, right? Yeah. Definitely as soft as they can be. Do you want me to follow you around? Yeah, you might as well come on around. So we're back out here at the field. Um, I just got everything greased up. I did some fittings, which I uh, may or may not have missed the other day when I greased the front axle. But, um... We got them down now. So we're heading around the field right now to go catch up to the combine. So we just made the combine. This is gonna be our first dump from the combine of the day. Which straight track are you on? Oh. Do I still need a little more? I don't know, Fox. 
So we are heading to the truck right now and we're gonna go dump this load on him. I don't know if I said earlier in the video or not, but the scales haven't been at working right this week, so I honestly have no idea what's in it, but it should be plenty for a load for him. Start up the PTO, open up the gate. It is 2.17 right now. We've been working for like an hour or two. He just moved to the second field. He's gonna let this one, I guess, dry off some, see how the other one's doing. PTO off, the gate's closed. Is it loaded? Yes. So we just filled him up. This year has not been the greatest year for beans. It's been more of a better year for corn. We had some um, dryness in the beginning of the year and we didn't get rain until later. So the beans were kind of suffering while the corn was doing okay and getting just enough rain as it needed. So we're heading to this field right now, the second one. He went around the first round, didn't need to dump. And he is going around the second round. And he says he's probably not gonna make it. So. I am heading on over to the combine. This field used to be one of our biggest fields, about 50 acres. Now it's only about 30. I think they might have planted grass or something on the other 20 acres, I don't know. Yeah, the combine is getting pretty full. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Ooh. A little bit of a tight squeeze through there. Made it do that, didn't you? Yeah, I was about an inch from the beans on this one side, though. It wasn't too tight of a squeeze, then. I guess as long as I made it, wasn't wasn't too tight then. I'm tired. There's some deer out there. I don't know if y'all can see them. Maybe we'll see them hopping. They're going across there like six or eight of them. But he just told me, he said, where all these golden beans are compared to these grayish, blackish colored ones, the golden ones do about 30 bushels more than these gray ones where they've gotten moisture. So that's crazy. Just how much of a difference can that make just from rain? So for y'all that don't know me, my name is Elijah. I'm 15 and I run this tractor and green car right here. And I work on my family farm with my family. <laughs> He said that was plenty. He said that was more than enough. So we are heading back to the truck right now. I honestly have no idea if he's back or not because we just dumped on him pretty recently. But these golden beans right here beside me, they're yielding pretty good. We were, what we were just going through was about 70 or 80. He's literally pulling in there right now. Perfect timing, I guess. Yeah, so I just finished dumping on him. Um, I gave him like 41,000, which is like the biggest load I've given him this year. So I'm thinking the test weight must be pretty high. Either that or the scales are just busted. I don't know. I gotta outrun this dust. Would you ask why I was running? Yeah, it does play a coming, brother. I wasn't getting caught in the dust. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has farmed, who has done any kind of work in dusty environments without a cab because a cab is a lifesaver when there's dust and everything. That would definitely not be fun. That is not, no. So yeah, thank you. For any of y'all that are wondering, the reason I've been wearing um, an AirPod today because I've been listening to a couple sermons and this one was talking about not wasting your life. He was talking about if you could do anything for God and you couldn't fail, what would that be? So I was thinking I could share with y'all one new verse, and that verse would be this, Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. So I just wanted to encourage y'all today not to worry about tomorrow, but keep your focus on today because none of us know what's going to happen tomorrow. Augers out. I'm a coming. So usually when we dump on the moon, we usually go in between like four to six miles an hour. And earlier today I was driving it without the straight track and we were kind of going around a curve. And I'm telling you, that's a lot harder than straight track. But I mean, it's possible. That's how everyone did it back in the day. I'm sure people still do it now. So, is that enough? Probably not quite if you put all that on that before. 
All right, time for So not quite enough, we just need a little bit more. Is that good? Yeah. But man, this field is nice. It's like our flattest field, right on a river bottom. It has a few holes, but every field we got, got holes, so. <laughs> there we go. We just got him filled up. We just finished everything over in that field we're just in. We're gonna move over to this field. It is 424, and I mean, we only have like 40 acres or so left, I think. And I mean, I think we should be able to finish tonight. So I just found out we're actually gonna move to this field right here in front of me. So I don't know if he wants me to follow him around or not. Do you want me to follow you around? Nah. Yeah. full. So I guess we're gonna be sitting right here until he comes back around. So he has done six acres of this field. Don't, don't mind that, it's not 28 like, acres left here, it's like six. It's like a 12 acre field, I have no idea why it's, it says it's 33, because it's not. So that's enough for a load right now, we are heading back to the truck. So apparently this is going to be the last load of the day. I think the beans are starting to get a little bit tough and we have to blow off the combine real quick. Real quick. Real good because if it rains, then everything's gonna stick to the machine. Did you get it all on that? Yeah, don't raise it up too much. It's pretty high in the back. Yep, yep. he's headed out of here. He's gonna unload that and we're gonna blow it off. I got the auger up in case it rains, and I think we're gonna shut her down. So that's about it for today. We got finished blowing off the combine, the tractor, and we got everything ready in case it rains. So that's about it. I will catch you on the next one, and have a blessed day.